This next story under things you just don't see every day. Now, in Australia, a kangaroo tying up traffic may be a normal thing, but not so much when it happens in Logan County. Yeah, no, because they're not native to the area, right? But this is actually what people saw on their drive this morning. And WSAC's Abby Lord talked with people that witnessed this hopping creature on the loose. That's a kangaroo! Don't be alarmed. The mountain state is not down under. A pet kangaroo became loose due to a gate that was left open and brought excitement and shock to a neighborhood on Mud Fork Road. It's exciting in a, in a way, you know, know I'm thinking a, a kangaroo would be in an area like this when you, and the first thing you think of is Australia. So, um, you know, it was kind of exciting. A six foot tan kangaroo joined the owners as a baby after being in a petting zoo. And the owner says he is friendly. Well, it, it's one of the oddest things I've seen. Uh, I didn't necessarily initially believe what I was hearing when I heard it on the radio, but uh, I, th I think a lot of the community was fairly shocked to see a kangaroo in their neighborhood. And I never expected to see one that big. West Virginia is one of three states that allow kangaroos to be pets without any restrictions. I, Dad, that, that's astonishing. It is. That's unbelievable that that would be legal. But they're legal? I did not know that. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I did not know they were legal. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. I thought about, I, now I want a kangaroo now. Officials say if you see a kangaroo on the road, you should slow down, stay alert, and call for help. A day drivers through the outback of central Logan County are sure to remember forever. Abby Lord, WSAZ, Logan County. Yeah, you expect to encounter deer on your drive, not kangaroos, right? But officials did say the owner actually has two, and only one of them got loose. But the kangaroo was uh, captured by the owner, and tonight is safe.